So we're out here at, uh, at Berkshire Country Club. Course management, obviously I'm not not too hot with. So we got my man Blake here, he's gonna help me out. We're gonna play a few holes, probably about like what, three? Play at least three holes. We'll get three a holes, four, five, four, 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 three kind of thing. Yeah. Give you a little, little challenge. Yeah, Blake's just gonna kind of walk me through every shot. Hopefully I can execute on what he's trying to have me do. And hopefully you guys learn a little bit of something. What do we got here, first hole? Par five, excuse me, should be a par, par five. five. It's a par, par four, hole number five at the Berkshire. I feel it's a par five just from the distance, but it's basically straight away, you got a little cut move. But for you, what do you want to make of this hole? This is the course management part you have to start thinking about. Yeah. Just don't get up and play a hole and then you walk off the car or trip a boat. That's how it happens. Right. But where would you like to score on this hole if I even give you one stroke? But if you, even if you have a gross score, are you going to make a four, are you going to make a five, make a six, make a seven? I mean, I'm trying to make a Part, right? Part. Like that's, okay. yeah, that's the, Realistically for right. me, I'm going to say a five. Okay. It's into the wind right. and it's very demanding. You have to hit a good shot to get that second shot a chance to get on the green. Okay. So you're going to hit a shot in the fairway. That's the one I want to hear. This is my first time ever getting like a an on course playing lesson. I'm pretty stoked for this. The reason why I obviously don't shoot well, I mean a lot of it has to do with my swing, but I think probably like 60 to 70% of it has to do with how I manage the course. So second shot here on number five of the Berkshire, he's got about 207 of the flag, but it's gonna be 215, 220 with the elevated green. Wind is stopped, so that's a huge thing right there. Yeah. So what do you have for a 215 shot? I'd say, I mean, probably like my three iron. Okay. Three iron sounds yeah. good. Yeah. As long as you don't keep it left where the bunker is, you're good to go. Chipping okay. a putt for par is gonna be fine here. Okay. Not gonna hurt you. All right. So you have a downhill lie, which means yeah. the ball's gonna naturally fade. Yeah. As a right-handed golfer. So if you wanna aim right edge of that bunker. Okay. And again, your miss is gonna be a fade. So you're okay to the right there. Just don't get it behind the tree. Okay. So we're talking a 15 yard cut. You got 15 it? 15 yard cut yep. with a little three you iron. You do that? You've been hitting eight hours a day oh, of golf yeah. balls, you got this. So what I would do, I would aim between the flag and the bunker with your three iron. Okay. If it goes straight, you're good. If it cuts, which it should. It's supposed to cut. It's down below, below your feet. So. Right. It'll cut. Not gonna do it. Notice it went right immediately. Yeah. Came up, caught the toe, open club face, off it goes. Yeah. Go ahead and hit the second one just yeah, for fun. Yeah. I want you to hit this in the bunker on the yeah. green side bunker. I want yeah. you to draw it. It, but it's not going to hurt you. But there's that miss factor as, as your 7 8 handicap where you're used to hitting consistent shots. Right. Berkshire gives you uneven lies uphill, downhill, side hill. But when it comes to this shot, your miss shot right there is the best. Right. Where the traditional shot's going to be a high cut yep. all day long because we don't stay down and we don't trust it. Right. So you baby it and you just don't follow through and then it goes off the throat, which is why that oaks it. Right. <laughs> Who designed this course? This is uh, pretty much Billy Parks. Willie Parks? Willie Parks Jr. Willie Parks, what a guy. <laughs> Appreciate that, Willie. This, this is probably where it could get a little dicey for me here. I'm under I'm under a tree. Land two, green side high is good. Imagine just being over there. Yeah. But this is, again, you can't go up. Yeah. So you have to do a little knockdown. Imagine you're late iron. What's my little late so iron? Eight knockdown? iron, seven iron knockdown. Okay. You're gonna try to hit it into the hill. Okay. To kill it and pop it up. Okay. You practice this how many hours? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna realize. Yeah. We don't practice enough, but we're gonna try. Visualize it. It's basically 35 yards to that hill. So we still roll 35 and we're just going run. kind of ball back in stance. Just yep. punch it. He is to stay down. We'll okay. watch it. Okay. You hit it. You head up, and it's you almost got it. Yeah. Another one? Yeah. It's okay. Pio. A little too much juice there, but that was kind of the right idea. I got we'll put the 60 for you, yeah. Don't trust 60? I love loss. I don't know. Right I've just, I've just yeah. been I've been chipping like, I don't know. Okay. I just feel comfortable with 56. Right. So if you chip it in with a 56, I'll shut up. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Show me how to do it. <laughs> but this is, you can see half the ball, so you got enough room to get under it. Okay. The key is X. Where do you want this ball to land? I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, like right, right there, right. So you're really only hitting it about. 10, 12 feet. Okay. It will be firm enough to bounce and roll. Okay. But your goal, three feet. Anywhere around this cup of two feet, you got a good shot. All right. If so it goes in, which we want it to, that's our bet. A little Dr. Chapinski. That's, that's what bet. we call that. Yes. <laughs> but you have 56, you trust the club. That's important right there. Okay. Grab the club that you trust the most. 
You got the 56, you'll execute this all day long. Okay. If it goes in, we're all gonna have a nice day. All right. Let's make this putt. So this, this is probably where I need the most help here. It's just like reading putts, putting, like that's, that's probably. Well, don't over analyze it. Right now, I think about putting in reference to two things. If it started to rain right now, where's the rain going? If it poured, okay. it's going this way. Yeah. Okay. So we're uphill and also where the sun is. A lot of people don't understand the grain of the grass grows where the sun is. So look where the sun is. The grain's going this way, so it's going to be a little quicker, but it's uphill all day. So you got a four foot putt. Let's make it. I pretty much just I got that little line on my ball. I've been doing that recently. Perfect. Just kind of line it out. Yep. You're keeping the same routine as you go, and again, I'm trusting what you're doing. Okay. It's just you trusting. You have to get That's over that ball and go. I'm going to make this putt. Yeah. So let me hear it. I'm going to make this putt. Okay. Let's see. Positive, it. positive thinking here. Now you have to question yourself. Yeah. Aim it. A pull. Probably a pull. Bingo. Yeah. Okay. So if you're worried about a pull, yeah. you got to play it then. So let's go one. Let's go a ball right edge, but don't take it out of the hole. There you go. Perfect. Same stroke and you got it. This becomes the part of you trusting it. There's a lot of golfers that get over the putt and again, the negative thoughts come into their head. Right. You got to think that you're going to make it. Right. You won't make every putt you ever make, but you got to think you can. Because right. eventually you'll start making more and more putts. Nothing wrong with the stroke, it's just I saw the putter go left, closed club face, and sure. went to the left yeah. side. Hole number six, the perch here, part three over the wall, 133. The wind is swirling a little bit. I'd say at this point, trust it. You like, one, you one, like one, pitching wedge? Um, for you? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, what do you like? I, I mean, that's what I would hit. Pitching okay, wedge. so okay. pitching wedge is a club. A lot of space up there, so again, <laughs> your goal is to get it on the green. Right. Get in regulation all the time. GIR. GIR. That's what we like. You got, yeah. you got plenty of room to the left of that flag stick. The green's just the width of the bunker to bunker, so you got plenty of room. And this is left. Trust the swing. Okay. We have it on camera, so we can take a look at it later. That's, That's the best part about yeah. cameras. Yeah, more club off the tee. That would have yeah. been probably what I should have gone that iron. Yeah. Well, the whole, again, you know your game. Yeah. There's only second time we've. Do I know my golf. game though? I hope so. <laughs> but you, but we gotta go a chip shot. Again, we're looking at X. It's gonna be about three quarters. It's going to break right to, or left to right a little bit, so you got to play it. So, are you going to putt or are you going to chip? What do you, what do you suggest? Ooh, I've got some 70 year old members here that can putt from 30 yards away. It's incredible. But they've been doing it for 50 years. Yeah. I love loft. You know that. Yeah. It should be my bumper sticker. So, it's about getting that golf ball where you need it to be. And when I'm in this spot, I'm usually visualizing two, three, four, five chips of me doing it and where it's landing and how it's going to roll. God. Tiger Woods was great at this. Tiger could putt 20 times in his mind before he putted. Yeah. And then he found that line. So find X, execute the distance from there to X, and hit the shot. Okay. Again, I practice in chipping to get that feel. You're all touch. You're going with what you know and how you know it. Okay. Enjoy it. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. As a golfer, your golf swing is different from all the hole from round to round. Right. Some guys will say, I played yesterday and shot 80. I shot played today, I shot 100. There's something changing. So as you notice things are staying left, you got to sort of play a little bit. Okay. So work within your ability for that day, for that time. So, so instead of trying to fix it, what am I here? Work with it. Work yeah. with it. Okay. Because right. again, you know, how many hours a day you practice is how you fix it. Right. If we're not practicing, it's hard to fix. So you see the leaf on the left edge of the cup? Yeah. Seven, the birch here, par four. All right. Trouble right. Trouble right. We got a low B right. And it's about keeping the ball in play. So if you're worried about your little fade, you're okay down the left side. Yeah. Everything kicks right anyway. Okay, 55 to the flag. Yeah. What I love about this particular green of the birch here is you've got about eight yards behind the flag stick. So it's almost a 60 yard shot. Okay. Think of it that way. Because what's going to happen if you get it pin high and it rolled up, it's coming right back. Okay. And that's the fun thing about this hole that you have that playability. Yeah. But short's no good. Long's not great. 
but I'll take a 60 yard shot from you all day. 60 yard shot. I mean, can you see the green? I don't know if that's a little three tier green. That is intimidating to look at, I will say. If your short game's on and you can hit a 60 yard shot, this is a blast. Yeah. Do you have that? 60 Absolutely. Degree? 56? I got a little 56. Okay, yeah. 56. 56. Beauty. Get up there. Get up there. Okay, there's the reality of short. Coming to the ball. I want this on the back tier, please. Okay. Then everybody who can hit it 60 yards always hits a 50. Mm -hmm. You gotta hit 100, you hit it 80. Okay. Give yourself 65, 70 then. Okay. Play that mind game where you're giving it too much yardage to execute the shot you're looking for. There it is. More aggressive, higher launch, more carry. Yeah. And here it comes. That's when you really get creative. I'd say 90% of the time, most of my students are short all the time. So I'll tell them to hit it over the green, and they do what you just did. Yeah. They hit it pin high, they get it to the target. This putt should be fun. Now we're gonna hit two putts here, folks. He's gonna putt his first one, the way you're gonna play it, then I'm gonna okay. throw a little, a little tip here. Little tip here. All right. Absolutely nothing wrong with that putt. Now what we're gonna do with the second putt is starting to take advantage of the back slope again. Let's go too far past and let it roll back on the hill. Okay, we hit it too hard. And let gravity bring it back. Great par. Nice. Yeah. Always look back, drive right down the middle. Second shot, just not enough. Yep. But you made it too far. Perfect. Uh, shout out to Blake for just breaking it down for me there. Hopefully you guys learned something. I definitely got a lot of takeaways from that. So appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next time.